After winning the Miami Grand Prix, McLaren CEO Zach Brown's confidence is through the roof. So much, in fact, that he has gone on a verbal rampage against Formula One champion Max Verstappen. And boy, did he not hold back on the punches. Not only did he claim that Max is only winning because of his car, but he also said that Lando Norris is way better. There's plenty to unpack here, so let's hear him out. Zach Brown is over the moon about Lando Norris's first race win. Brown has been a day one supporter of Norris and sees him as McLaren's future world champion. But Max Verstappen's dominant streak has kept the championship out of reach for others for the past three years. And this season seems no different. To secure the title, Lando Norris must outperform Verstappen. But with the formidable RB20 aiding the Dutch driver in winning every race, the task is close to impossible. Verstappen's ascent to the top of Formula One occurred in 2021, when he clinched his first world championship. But following that intense season-long battle with Lewis Hamilton, the flying Dutchman has seemingly found it smoother to secure further title successes. Verstappen's dominance in Formula One has been nothing short of amazing. Securing the 2022 and 2023 titles with unprecedented ease, with four wins in the first six races of the 2024 season, he appears poised to claim his fourth consecutive championship. Meanwhile, Zach Brown hasn't held back in sharing his thoughts on Red Bull, particularly regarding the unexpected departure of their design chief Adrian Newey. Brown predicts that Newey's exit could trigger further changes within the team, calling it the first domino to fall amidst their off-track challenges. And now Verstappen is in the spotlight of Brown's controversial observations. Zach Brown does give a little love to Verstappen's racing prowess pointing out his command over his Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez as a testament to his abilities. But Brown holds the view that Verstappen's title victories are closely tied to driving the Red Bull car. In a recent interview on the Beyond the Grid podcast, when asked about his preference between a star driver and a designer, Brown had this to say, Well, ultimately you need both. I don't think without a star driver you're going win, so you need both. First, it does start with the car. People ask me all the time, is it car or driver? And it's like, well, it's both. I think the way I characterise it is, I think there are six, seven drivers on the grid that will be world champions in the Red Bull. As great as Max is, and he's one of the best ever, I don't think Max wins the world championship today in any other car, other than the Red Bull. But then, when you look at the difference, and Sergio Perez is an excellent racing driver, who's shown on his day he can run with Max, but look at the difference there. So I think you need both, because as Formula 1 gets closer, and Max is doing such a special job, but look at what's going on from P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. One day we're McLaren P2, next day we're P5, and it's all moving around. So the cars are so close that that's when the driver is going to make the difference. So you need both at the end of the day. Zach Brown has also boldly stated that Lando Norris possesses raw talent that makes him faster than triple world champion Max Verstappen. He said that a head-to-head -head title battle between Norris and Verstappen would likely result in emotional disappointment for one side, suggesting that the competition would be intense and emotionally charged. Lando Norris outshone Max Verstappen at the Miami Grand Prix, securing his maiden Grand Prix victory in his 110th start. A strategically timed safety car period granted the 24-year-old a cost-free pit stop, and upon the race's resumption, the McLaren surged ahead, leaving the struggling Red Bull behind. While talking to motorsport.com, the McLaren Racing CEO stood firmly behind his driver, backing Norris's abilities to compete with Verstappen on equal footing. Despite the advantages that favoured Norris during the Miami race weekend, he said, I do think Lando can beat Max in a straight fight. I think it would be an awesome fight. I think many races would end in tears. For one or the other. Or both. But I think as far as raw talent can be, I've not seen someone faster than Lando. I'm sure Max is just as fast, I'm sure some people will disagree, and ultimately we'll never know until you see them in the same car. From everything I can see of Lando, I don't see a faster racing driver out there. What's exciting is Oscar can match him. As he gets more experience, I think he'll match him more often. McLaren introduced big updates in Florida, setting the stage for Norris's breakthrough victory. The team is optimistic that with teammate Oscar Piastri also benefiting from the full upgrade at Imola, both drivers can regularly challenge the Red Bulls. In the early phases of the Miami Grand Prix, Piastri matched Verstappen's pace, leading to the error that caused damage to Verstappen's car, indirectly benefiting Norris later in the race. Ultimately, the American believes that securing his first victory will propel Norris to even greater heights of performance. McLaren aims to close the gap with Ferrari and challenge them for second place in the constructors' standings, and Norris's win is seen as a huge boost towards achieving that goal. There's something about when drivers get their first win, he said. I remember from when I got my first win. Now you know you've done it. The first win just relaxes drivers and they don't have to try as hard. 
In anything, you can try too hard and that kind of works against you. Zach Brown has a history of being critical of mistakes made by other Formula One teams, with a particular focus on Red Bull racing. He has previously appealed to the FIA regarding Red Bull having two teams. Despite Brown's comments, Max Verstappen seems unfazed by the constant remarks from his rival team's boss. The three-time champion said, He obviously wants to stir things up. For us as a team, we can't do anything with comments like that. From his point of view, I understand it, of course, because everyone is trying to attract our people, and that is completely normal in the world of Formula One as well. But I'm not really interested in those things either. I see the headlines, but I don't even click on them. It's not just Zach Brown who made negative comments about Red Bull recently. Ferrari's Fred Vasseur thinks that the Milton Keynes-based team is facing new challenges and is no longer sitting pretty on their throne. The Frenchman says that the teams behind Christian Horner's Red Bull Racing are closing the gap. Red Bull has been dominant in Formula One for the past two years, but he sees the chasing pack gaining on the defending champions. What is true is that compared to one year ago when we Ferrari are able to do a good job and to put everything together, we are there, he said. It means we are putting them a little bit under pressure and they have to be a bit more aggressive with the strategy. They are not any more in the comfort zone of last year where it doesn't matter what happened. After lap two, they were in front. I think that's a game changer in the management of the race. I think this is an opportunity for us because if we are doing another small step, I think we will be in a really good position to fight with them every single weekend. Vasseur also mentioned that he thinks Ferrari and McLaren have the potential to challenge the reigning world champions as Formula One heads back to Europe next week for the Imola race. I think that we, McLaren and us probably, can trouble a little bit Red Bull, he added. Then it's more a matter of track position or something, because it's so difficult to overtake when you are only one or two tenths apart, that's dictated by track position. The upcoming races will truly show how close McLaren is to Red Bull. The Imola circuit, being more traditional with its asphalt surface, high-speed corners, elevation changes and challenging chicanes, requires excellent stability, compliance over kerbs and overall a different skill set compared to other tracks. This variety makes it a crucial test for teams like McLaren to demonstrate their competitiveness against Red Bull. They're fully committed. Bringing an upgrade to a sprint weekend like they did in Miami, where there's limited time to fine-tune the car, reflects a high level of confidence in their development programme at the factory. Not many teams would take such a bold step, highlighting McLaren's belief in their capabilities to push forward in the championship. So how do you think the Red Bull McLaren battle will go at Imola? Comment your prediction down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.